guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a thanksgiving haul for you guys so i hope you guys are excited because i am um i have my receipt right here to kind of go along with the prices of everything so i spent a total of 103 dollars and 37 cents at heb and whole foods i spent 25 dollars and 45 cents so i'm going to show you what i got from both places and yeah so let's just get started okay first thing i got was beefless grounds you can see that and that was we'll okay beefless grounds was 397 so 397 for this bag of beefless grounds and it's a good amount and i'm going to use this to put in my dirty rice just to reference what i'm using it for the next item on my list is corn on the cob so i got four of these in a package because i didn't feel like going through the the other corn on the cob where you gotta peel them and make sure they're good before you buy it, you know, all of this stuff. So I got four of these and I'm gonna cut them in half and make eight. So these cost, so these were $3.97, which is not bad for eight corn on the cob that I'm gonna get out of it. I got my Whole Foods receipt too. But I got soy milk, um, ice cream sandwiches, I went blank. And that was, $5.99, which is expensive because there's only eight in here, but they all, they only usually have coconut milk, but they have soy milk, and I don't like coconut like that, so I'm happy. All right, it's time to go through this bag of veggies that I got in front of me here. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I had, I got four things of celery, and reason being is because I'm using celery to make a lot of stuff. So I got four things of celery. Celery was free. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how much the celery was, guys. I can't find it on here. If I do find it later, I'll let y'all know. But it wasn't expensive. And then I got four, two red onions, um, one yellow onion, and okay. And I got two, uh, three green bell peppers, and then. This looks like one, two, three, five jalapenos. So um, my onions were 48 cents each. My jalapenos were, were 60 cents. And I got garlic, which was 98 cents. And then I got, I don't know what else I got. Hey, Jeff, what's your thing you mean? Oh, yeah. It's okay, go ahead. You can watch football? Hmm? I'm just doing a video. Oh, wait. You put on mute? Alright. You can talk. You can talk. No, we can't talk right now. So yes, I have two of these garlic packs. And then it's more veggies. So these are my other two green bell peppers. And then I got a white onion. My white onion was 48 cents. And my sweet potatoes were 18 cents each. So I got three of these. Yeah, and then I got this four pack of sweet potatoes because the ones at the store were kind of picked over and it wasn't good. So I just got this four pack um, of sweet potatoes, which was $3.48. I have three lemons. So I have three lemons and this is mostly to make Buttermilk from scratch, vegan butter, buttermilk from scratch, and to put in my banana pudding, and I think that's pretty much it a little bit. You know, lemons? And the lemons were a dollar for all three. Cabbage. Um, I got three cabbage heads, and the cabbage is for cabbage. <laughs> I'm making cabbage. And the cabbage cost me I just one thirty seven for all three heads. I got cilantro, which is for my mac and cheese that I make from scratch. And my cilantro was thirty eight cents. All right, and then I got two things of cashew milk because I need them for pretty much everything that I'm making. I got two things of cashew milk for five ninety six. This brown rice was one twenty nine for two pounds. I already had apple cider vinegar, which I'm gonna need, and then olive oil was 247. And of course, I got some green bananas because by the time I make my banana pudding, I want them to be ready to go. So this is for my banana pudding. There's 
six bananas. And these were $2.70. And I already had cashews, so I need that to make uh, my mac and cheese. Okay, I got two medium shells. Um, this is my macaroni and cheese pasta. Y'all can see that. So two of these were two fifty six. So two of these were ninety four cents for both. This is the vegetarian juice. My kidney beans were one forty seven. I need these for my dirty rice. And then I had to get my vegan um, cream cheese, which is for my banana pudding. And the cream, the vegan cream cheese was two ninety eight. So I got me French vanilla jello and banana cream jello. And I'm gonna add all of the like cashew milk into it and the egg substitute, which I use black seeds and water. So the banana one was one ninety eight and the French vanilla was ninety eight cents. Then I got two of my sweet in condensed milk for the banana pudding as well. And this is soy milk. I these were like one twenty eight or one forty eight, I don't know, each. So and I got flour for one oh eight. You need my flour for bacon, you know. And then I have two of my vegetable broths, H E B brand, for two ninety six together. So um, I got these diced green chilies for seventy four cents, and I put this half of this in my macaroni and cheese. Probably. And I got cocoa powder. I'm using this for my red velvet cake that I'm making, and this was this was two dollars and thirty four cents. I got salt and pepper. I really ran out of pepper, but the salt is just there because it was the cheapest. It was like ninety eight cents for this. And I got my rice whip, which I got from Whole Foods, and that was expensive. It was six forty nine, so it's pretty expensive for vegan whipped cream. And this is for my banana pudding. And then I have whole wheat bread, and most of this bread is for this dressing that I'm gonna make, and sandwiches for the week. And then I got the bakery rolls. Um, the first bakery rolls, which were, these were $2 flat for the bake for bakery rolls. And then I don't eat cranberry sauce or anything like that, but I got it because I know Zach eats it. So this is cranberry sauce, which was $1.50. That's expensive. But yeah, cranberry sauce, $1.50. And then I'm almost done, guys. Bear with me. I got two non-vegan vanilla wafers. So this is the only thing that's not going to be vegan in my whole meals. Um, in the banana pudding because the vegan ones were too expensive and they're not that good. So I got two non-vegan little wafers for my banana pudding, and these were two for six ninety-six. So and I got all of these pans from the Dollar Tree. So everything was a dollar for my stuffing, my cake, my, mac, my I'm making baked mac and cheese. My dirty rice goes in here. So I just got those for the bacon mostly. And then I have red food color, which is for the red velvet cake. This was $264. That's expensive. Yeah, $264 for the food color. Um I got this turkey roast. I lied. This is not vegan as well, but it's vegetarian. It has eggs and milk in it, unfortunately. But this is the only turkey they have left. They ran out of tofurkey, so this is what I'm dealing with. Turkey roast. Hope it's good. And then this one is vegan, and this is a filled roast stuffed with butternut squash, butternut squash, apples, and mushrooms. So each of those were six ninety six. I'll show y'all that. I'm gonna tell you guys some essentials that you're gonna need: soy sauce. I forgot what I need that for, but I know I need it. Minced garlic that I already had. Um, nutritional yeast. We may need a little more of nutritional yeast. Yeah, we're running low on a nutrition week. And then some bacon bits, uh, vegan bacon bits for my cabbage and stuff. Because, you know, I'm not putting meat in it. And then organic um, soy protein powder. And this is just keep, to keep me full while I'm cooking when the food's not ready or, you know, just keep me up. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, let me know what you think. And... I will see you guys in my next video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. So, bye.